just going to be a quick walkthrough for standard deviation. Um, it's on the A-level paper four exam, could also be on the paper three, just if you had to like look at some data. Um, the purpose for standard deviation, um, something's deviating, it's like moving away from the norm. So standard deviation is going to be used um, to identify like how spread out or how far data points are from your average. Um, and so this will just kind of it's, you know, you find the average and then like you find the essentially like the average difference, um, like the uh, average range essentially of all the data. Um, this formula is what you'll be using and um, let it not intimidate because you don't have to memorize the formulas um, and you don't have to memorize what the each symbol is. Um, instead, you're just gonna have to be able to use it. Um, and yeah, so um, when this part is done, then we can go into doing, um, after the standard deviation, uh, you can look into <sighs> um, the standard error and then um, the confidence intervals, which is actually really simple, but you'll need standard deviation in order to pull off the conf confidence intervals for your data. Okay, um, so the first step that you're gonna do and I gave an example here, you're gonna to need to find uh, the mean or the average. Um, so for this example, I'm gonna use this data below. And if you have any anomalies or any outliers in your data, something that's not following the norm, um, that may just be like a like sampling error, like anomalous error that maybe you um, reset something as you were counting or um, recorded something wrong or multiply, you know, whatever it is, um, those can be eliminated to not include inside of this. Okay. Um, so we're going to do, so the example is a quadrant was used to estimate the population of limpets on a rocky shore. And side note, I did post this to your Google Classroom, this blank document, so you're able to fill it out. Okay, um, so first you are going to find the mean, and I highlighted F. Um, I highlighted each, uh, uh, what's it, symbol, or, you know I don't teach math. Um, yes, each different, like, symbol or a part of the equation as we're doing it. So, X hat, it's very official, find the mean, so add up all of your data, then divide by the amount of data sets. So 27, 32, 29, 35, 25, 37, 31, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data points. Um, so we'll divide by seven, you should get 30.9. So the average of all the data is 30.9. And we'll use that again. So um, step two is a little bit tedious. So each data point that you have, the 27, 32, 29, and so on, you are going to subtract, you're going to subtract from the average of all of the data. So um, where X is standing for each data point, or each data value, each measurement. One second. Hey, Olive, don't give her too much food, okay? I think, yeah, I think she wanted the water. All right, so I did the first one for you. 27, which is the first data point, uh, minus 39. You should get a negative 3.9. Um, negative is fine, because eventually you're going to square it, so it'll go away. But uh, 27 is less than the average of 30.9, so that does deviate negative 3.9 or 3.9 um, less than your average. All right, your next one is gonna be 32 minus 30.9. All right, and if you subtract that, you're gonna get 1.1. I'll just write all the values in 29, 35, 25, 37, 31. And I should also add that, no, you won't have to know these formulas, they'll be given. No, you won't have to know exactly what each symbol represents, they'll be given. Um, but 
and you won't have to do this in, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do an entire statistical test like this page. Um, you shouldn't. Perhaps maybe you just have to calculate um, maybe just like what sigma is. So the fourth step, but um, we'll see because there's not really many examples of this out there yet. All right, when you subtract this value, you're going to get a negative 1.9. This one is 4.1, 25 minus 30.9, negative 5.9. Okay. You can pause this anytime to catch up. Okay, so now in our equation, you essentially just did this part right here. We just took care of this middle one. Okay, now we're gonna, now we have this, we're gonna take the square of them, or square them, not take the square, but square them. I did the first one for you, a negative 3.9 squared, 15.24, so it ends up being um, a positive value overall. All right, and it's it's all of these values that are going to go in there. Those are going to come right here. Okay, and then you've got a negative 1.9 squared. Negative 5.9 squared. All right, and so I'll do this first one for you. iPad doesn't come with, I am, I'm almost done. iPad doesn't come with a calculator anymore, like it's bogus, so I had to get this <laughs> downloadable one. Hey, Ellie, what were you playing with in there? But what were you playing with? Okay, that's a lie. So when you square it, oh, uh, 1.1 times, or squared, 1.21. Just, you're absolutely going to be using a calculator 100%. 3.61, 4 1 squared, 16.81. Negative 5.9 squared, 34.81. 6.1 squared, 37.21. And then 0.1 squared is 0 0.01. Okay, so now we just did the difference of the data sets from the average, and then we took those differences and we squared them all. Step four. So here's where you get to meet sigma. Sigma is the capital letter, um, or this, symbol is the capital letter sigma um, in science and math it means the summation of so you're taking the sum so you're going to add all of the things that it's telling you to add so yes you're going to add all these values up summation is always going to say like add all the values coming after this so you'll be adding all the values from step three so notice i did the first one for you that 15.21, you got it put back right there. 15.21, and then you're going to add them all up. All right, once you do that, uh, you should get 108.87. Okay, so now we'll just hang on to that value for now. 
Okay, um, n minus one. And again, you'll be told in the test what n means. Um, n is the amount of data you collected, and we collected seven. That's what we divided by in the first step to find the mean. And we have seven data sets there. So you're going to do seven minus one equals six. Easy. And now we're ready to actually um, put it into the bigger formula. So you're going to have the square root. I don't like the way that looks. Sorry. All right, so the square root of, um, it's ready in eight. The quotient of 108.87 divided by six. And in this one, we you're gonna divide the summation value from number four, number four, and you're looking at 108.7. And then you're gonna divide it by the n minus one that you just did right here. It's a really good arrow. Then <laughs> we did a number five. And then and you're gonna do the square root obviously last. So um, go ahead and divide that. All right, and you should get 18.15, I did round it up. Finally, use your quotient, good math term, from number six that we just got and find the square root of it. So now we're gonna do the square root of 18.15, and that equals 4.3. And, and this, this is, um, I, I can't really give you more, um, um uh, more details about this. I do see it in other quest in other formula. Um I see this value standard deviation actually as this symbol, which is like a circle, but whoop, keep going. Um that symbol is actually lowercase sigma, which I'm like, I mean, are you gonna call it little s? right and keep it at standard deviation or are you gonna call it lowercase sigma um but that's that's a battle for another day either way um you will be given all of these formula and and value not values but what they mean as well where like this is capital letter sigma this is lowercase sigma capital letter though means add these all together and then sometimes in statistics the and I, again, I haven't done this since like 2010. So when I say sometimes, that's just because I haven't done this. So I'm not sure, not 100% confident, but that I've seen this being um, used as like the standard deviation. But maybe because it's lowercase s. And that actually might make some sense. So that, that's lowercase s. And we're calling this lowercase like American normal like letter alphabet English, not American, but English, um, English lowercase s. Then that would make sense that this is also used. Okay. I'm done talking about things that don't matter. All right, so um, what this actually tells you that um, the standard deviation is 4.3, and I believe I also rounded that. Yes, it was 4.26, so 4.3. Um, the standard deviation is 4.3, so essentially, like on average, the difference greater or less than the average of your data, the average overall data is 30.9. And so the standard deviation from that value, 30.9, with this data set, um, the values on average, because you could have more or less than that 4.3, but on average, they will deviate from the mean um, for greater or less than 4.3. So the data can be 4.3 less, and this is on average, than the mean, which was 30.9, or 4.3 on average more than the mean. So if we actually added those together, on average, the data will like range 
26.6 to 35.2. And all I did was um, for the 26.6, .6, I did 30.9 and subtracted 4.3. And then for the 35.2, I did 30.9 and I added 4.3. And that is like a typical range. Now, 4.3 isn't bad. Um, the lower that your standard deviation is means like the closer that your um, measurements or your data set is to the actual average, which is good. That means you're not going to have a ton of fluctuation. There probably wasn't a ton of error happening. Um, you may have been pretty like, accurate in your measurement and you may have maintained the same kind of measurement practice and methods if you had a really large range like if it was like in the like 20s or so like well why is your data ranging so much then um and it literally could be because that is something natural like a natural variance um maybe it was like seasonal or something but even if that's the case um you wouldn't want to measure a bunch of data and then compare different seasons of data. Um, you know, if you were looking at sampling um, an ecosystem or something like that, that just because that you would have very different values. And then your entire reason for that is like, well, it's different seasons, which you would be able to tell anyways. All right. So that is that is it for the standard deviation. Um, more for the other statistical tests to come.